It's kind of how every nation began, going to campuses, reaching students, training them to be leaders. From the 80s when I started in this 2022 and beyond, it's going on to campuses with these events, these God's Not Dead events, finding students and training them to be leaders. As much as we love people to learn to develop a support team and go into the full-time ministry, one of the things we're realizing is that we have to train the students to lead while they're students. And that's something that if you go back to Steve Merle, uh, my old college housemate who was leading our campus church while he was still in college as a senior to the students in the Philippines in the 80s. And we're seeing this happen all across the world. We're going in, we're finding students who are really ready to lead now. So they need a little bit of training. We're giving them purple books. We're giving them other material, apps, other websites that we have to help them. But it's all coaching them to be leaders while they're students. I hope you get a little glimpse of that, of what we've done in these last few campuses. We'll do hopefully about 60 of these events a year. And so we ask that if you're a pastor, a campus minister, or just a church member who keeps hearing about this campus vision that every nation has, rather than hearing about it at a conference or maybe once every three years you go and have, there's a campus night, the best way to really experience this is to come out here on campus with us. If you give us a couple of days, maybe three days, you can go and put up posters and prayer walk. You can hand out flyers. You can be here with us at these events where there are students at the very end who are really asking questions. I mean, it's almost 11 o'clock at night and you'll hear people, you hear noises in this building because people, we've been here late. They're literally kicking us out. And that's what's happened in most universities. We literally close the building down from students who are wanting to know more and how can we be involved? How can we learn to do what you're doing? And that's what we're trying to do. Teach them how to know what the gospel is, why it's true, so that they're not just surviving but they're really, they really are thriving while they're students. That's the essence of the Every Nation DNA. When someone sees us defending the faith in the public square, not from a conference, not from just another event like that, but when they see us in this public moment, talking about God's existence, talking about the truth of the Christian faith, and then having the response, the Q&A, the, the skeptics, the professors. And when they see that kind of ability to confidently, graciously, hopefully, defend the faith, then many of them come to us and say, that's what we want to do. And that's what we're hoping. That's what started us. That's the essence of what has driven me for over 40 years. So if I can do it, you can do it. So I'm inviting you to join us. Come out, be a part of this. Once you step out on campus, you'll feel the burden of the students. You'll know what they're experiencing. You'll know how to pray better. But also we have people here that are much older. We're helping to be mentors and coaches and encouragements to these students. And they're becoming leaders. Every nation in our generation, every nation, every campus.